So we're going to do a quick tour um, and go from there. This is Lady Beatrice um, doing the first little intro quest. Kind of covers a lot of the bases. It just kind of sets up the kingdom. So we're just going to take a look. Oh, isn't it stunning? All right, so this is our throne room. Lots of lots of vibes happening. Wanted lots of plants and lots of greenery since you know, um, old castles were, were smelly. People didn't have toilets, so you know, just find a dark corner. This is our sort of um, study slash library. You can see there. Um, one of the things that I don't know when they introduced this, as far as Sims goes, um, when you went into decorate or furnish mode, um, people became invisible, so you could place things where they were standing, whereas in earlier versions of the game, they would be in the way and you couldn't place things there. So we got all cool magic-y things, we got some portraits on the walls, all of that good stuff. Alright, wee. This is our war room and where this is where the diplomacy happens. We've got all these cool things. Oh, that's, oh shit, that's a cool, no! No! Give me this view. Oh, that's neat. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's what we're doing then. Alright, so all of that. Um, all of our carpeting and colors are customized. I can't have a non-customized kingdom. Um, okay, so... The Queen's Boudoir. <gasps> Who is not making the bed? It's not my job. I'm the Queen. Yeah. There's there's her fancy uh, uh, get ready area. Um, uh, as an addition from the Pirates and Nobles expansion, you can get birds. Um, this so like a parrot or whatever. Whoa, this one is a falcon. His name is Timmy. How you doing, Timmy? Hey, buddy. Whoa. All right. Uh, I went ahead and prepared ahead for our air. Um, so nice kind of whimsical children's room. Uh, eventually later on there is a quest to make an air. So we'll get there, but we've got room for them. Ready to go. And then this is the queen's personal larder. Uh, you still have to do hunger and energy is really the only need that you have to work on to satisfy. Um... And usually it's just a little bit easier to just make it yourself versus finding a servant and having them do it. Ugh. It's just, it's impossible to find good palace servants these days. But you know. Anyway, so that's what we did. We decorated and it took a very long time <clears throat> and did the intro quest. <clears throat> so we are ready to go with Lady Beatrice. All right, we're just gonna do the first one. This is the Crab Bandit quest. A mysterious rumor was circulating around the town. A beast lurked below the depths of Irthos. <gasps> the stories were coming from too many sources to be simple folklore. Was this beast a monster with plans to destroy the town? <gasps> or was it simply a misunderstood creature looking for a friend? <gasps> I do remember this one. Crab Hammer says, a rare mineral has been found with unknown properties. Could the origin of the mineral be more mysterious than anyone ever imagined? <gasps> Gasp. Or, there was always room for a new alliance in a growing kingdom, especially an alliance that contributed to the safety of the people. Such partnerships could often be found in the strangest places. Could a subterranean kingdom hold the key to Irthos' security? <gasps> Gasp. We're going to do that. This can only make Irthos stronger. You got it, lady. Beatrice. Great innovations in security always came from the humblest beginnings. The Tredonians developed their specialized crossbow technology by studying the looms in their village. The impregnable walls of Craft Hole were developed by a lowly mud pusher who discovered the secret of masonry. Perhaps the next great innovation in the field of the kingdom security was merely waiting to be found in Irthos. If it kept her citizens safe, Lady Beatrice was sure to find it. So a little bit about Lady Beatrice. 
she is friendly and good and uncouth. So the the new concept for our queen was uh, um, a young young gal who um, is is very kind and very good, but she's very naive. And she really wants to do right by the kingdom, but she can't help but say things that are completely inappropriate and totally wrong. So, there's that. So, to start the quest, if I'm ever to, if I'm to discover the next innovation in security technology, blah, 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 summon villagers. So we need to write a letter. Write a letter. Come on, my lady. Ain't she cute? Mm. I dig it. I dig. But that's none of my business. Ah! Need some orchard there. Oh, I'll bring. Oh, Get to it, my lady. Okay, so again, um, you really only have hunger and energy to deal with. Um, these right here are tasks. Um, every day you get a couple of tasks to complete, and they don't have any bearing on the quest, but they do raise your focus meter, which is right here, um, and you'll have better success with your quests um, if you have higher focus. So fulfilling those needs, doing things, um, will help raise your focus. You can do quests faster, and you can get better rewards from it. So... Uh, we've got a little bit of a thing going with Buildmaster Roderick, since he was just kind of there from the very beginning. But he's cute, though. Eventually, the time will come. We will we will have to fulfill our queenly duties and produce an heir for the kingdom. So who knows? Maybe it'll be Buildmaster Roderick. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Merely await the arrival of Earthus, the great inventor. Look at these flowers. On their ground. Good job. In the meantime, let's go hang out with Timmy. Who are you? Get out of here. Oh, what? Hooray, wildflowers. Hurry up and come play with Timmy. Ugh. Who's pissing in my chair? It's only because you, you bay. Rude. Fine, we'll do what we're supposed to do. Ugh. What's up? Dude. What you got? Money. Now looky here, my lady. This is here is called. How do, what is his, what is this voice? A landmine. An enemy of Irthos who steps on this is sure to rue the day they challenge your rule. What do you think? This is Pooh. Thanks for handing me this. I'll get back to you. Did he dump sack us? Did he just hand us a bag of shit? What's in my inventory? Why are all these books here? A landmine. This is, this is Pooh. Should we, like, kill him? Ugh, gross. Don't just hand a queen a pile of shit. What's wrong? You're in the way. Somebody's in the way. Y'all calm down. Why are we getting upset? I like this tunicky doublet you got going on. You want security? I've got security. How would you like to rain destruction down upon Erthos' enemies from the sky? Sounds too good to be true. Just step aboard my flying machine and I'll show you true power. Flying machine sounds too good to be true. He's pointing to it. I don't see anything. Where is the... It's is over... Oh, this person is insane. Oh boy. Okay. Who is this? Who is this geezer? 
I'm concerned. Please tell me that with your age comes wisdom and you know what's going on, sir. That would be nice. Anything? <gasps> Have you ever heard of the Crab Bandit? By the Watcher, did I drink crazy tonic this morning? Oh, tell me more. Crab Bandit, are you insane? This guy needs to go. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I'm not crazy. I am a little crazy. But beneath Irthos lives a giant half-crab, half-man monster. The Crab Bandit. Legend speaks of a time when great kings and queens made alliances with these beasts of yore. Reforged his forgotten alliance and Irthos will be stronger than ever. You might choose not to believe me, but because of my severe insanity. Uh, but you'd believe Buildmaster Roderick, wouldn't you? Blah, blah, blah. And then that dialogue, blah, 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 dialogue box disappeared. Let's go play chess. If that's where he still is when we get upstairs. I don't know. Whoops. I need everybody to go. There's too many people in here. Who are you? I don't I don't know you. No. Can, can we not? Let's just discuss this nonsense. Come on, homie, let's go. Y'all need to go, it's, it's like late. Well, we didn't want to say anything, but when we were mining the cave for stone, several of the builders and I thought we saw something in the darkness. Something big with claws. There might be more to this old man's story than mere insanity. Search cave for crab bandit. <gasps> this calls for an outfit change. That's right. Scrub the flows. So we are going to change our outfit to this one. This is our adventure outfit. Cute. Good. Rugged. Alright, so here are the tasks um, that you kind of get perks from doing on the daily. Um, so we're going to do a few... Our focus is still really high, but we are getting hungry. So, let's go ahead and make something to eat. What did I say? Did I make food or open... Okay. We're going to make... Boar pie, of course. Or, yeah. Why not? Because we went to the market and had to buy our own ingredients. Which is not very queenly. Somebody should do that for me. Whoops. Certainly my favorite thing about this version of Sims is all the just random little bits you get to decorate with. Yay! Who doesn't like to decorate a castle so I can live vicariously through a life that I'll never have? You know. Same old, same old. Dun, 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 dun. Come on! Just. That seems like. What is that? That doesn't look like a fire. Woo! That's not a log. Okay. That was supposed to be the pie? Oh my god. <laughs> no. That was enormous. We're going to eat boar pie. Yeah, so if you turn all the way around, you just look out into the kingdom, which is weird. So we're not going to do that. You're sitting in the wrong chair, my queen. So let's sit in that one, the big chair. 
<laughs> just scooping with their hands. That's how you call them. You have a whistle. And then he will fly up and then magically fly into the ceiling, which is supposed to be stone. What's up, buddy? Um, let me give him a pat pat. Oh, and then we'll feed him. Here you go, Timmy. Oh, my flower. Oh, well. Are you hungry, Timmy? Here, have another one. Timmy hungrily gobbles the meat out of Beatrice. Oh, I forgot her lesson. Beatrice Fournier's fingles. Have another pat pat. And then go hunting. Yeah, and yes, you can send it to attack people, apparently. I have not done it. But I think that's pretty cool. I got queenly tasks to do in the middle of the night. Ugh. Y'all don't live here? Go away! I changed outfits to do things today, and y'all are just cramping my style. I matched the rug. Isn't that nice? Uh... Um, well... It's gonna upset Tridoni. So these are our, our neighboring kingdoms, Tridoni and Crafthole. Um, and we can look at their sort of stats later on, but different things that you do will kind of boost or harm your relationship with the neighboring kingdoms. So we're going to transfer revenue from Tridonian taxes to programs that support underprivileged mud pushers and craft hall. Propose. Who are you? Sea Dog Jeff? I don't know you, Jeff. What's up, baby? Romantic intro. Ooh, cuddle. Ooh, this thing's getting saucy in there. Okay, I need to ask people about living in your false. Servant Gertie! Cute. Tell me, Boo. What do you think about living in Erthos? That's weird. Don't. We ain't close like that. Should we start drama between our romantic interest, the Buildmaster, and our advisor? Sounds delightfully messy. Yes. Yes. So fast at sleeping. Search for the crib. I can't believe I'm actually inside a cave looking for a crab bandit. I'm as nutty as that inventor of the flying machine. Whoa. Ooh, nice stash, my dude. Simultaneously, Lady Beatrice met the crab bandit and realized that this whole adventure had been a terrible idea. Crab bandit! She screamed and quickly retreated from the cave. But like, why? What in the watcher's name? The crab bandit is real. I must ask the old man more. You saw him? It was really him? Did he have his fabled moustache of legend? Oh, Lady Beatrice, you must seek counsel with him. If you can grant him the three tokens of gratitude, he will join forces with Irthos and guide our s and our safety will be assured. Alright. We're gonna have to go and talk to it again. Listen to his three demands, Lady Beatrice thought. Does the crab bandit even speak? She carefully approached the crab bandit. Um, hello? She said to the beast. I'm here about the, uh, the tokens. Gratitude tokens? Something like that. The crab bandit gestured toward his clothing. A tattered cloth around his waist and a sash across his chest. The crab bandit grunted loudly. The crab bandit tapped his walking stick loudly upon the cave floor. Crab skittered from the back of the cave and looked up expectantly. 
The crab bandit looked at Lady Beatrice knowingly. Hmm. Finally, the crab bandit lifted his claw to his face, gently stroking his magnificent moustache. A single tear rolled down his crabby cheek. The requests were complete. Well, let's just start from the outside. The crab bandit seemed pained when he touched his moustache. What actions will Lady Beatrice take? The crab bandit seemed pained when he... Oh, yeah. A glorious moustache like that clearly needs moustache wax. That's clearly what the crab bandit wanted. Or he could want a mustachioed sacrifice to appease him and his children. Don't think that's it. We're going to get him some moustache wax. Alright, and then he gestured to his clothing. He wants a new pair of clothes. And then most suddenly, motioning to the smaller crabs, either could it be that his little crabs were hungry? I could bring them some food, I guess. Maybe he wants me to have one of his crabs to take as my ward. I don't think that's it. Alright, so... We can now pursue... All of the bits. Right. Let's ask about Moustache. You have a moustache. You had a pretty good looking moustache. Well, thank you for your moustache wax recipe. And talk to that guy. We're gonna butter up the poop guy. For his clothes? What? What are we doing? Oh yes! Apparently since he is a big dude, we want just his big dude clothes for the crab. So we need to butter him up. That seems really odd, but okay. I would like to request one crate of your best shit. Moustache. We need ink and a leech. We don't have those things. Okay. Foul soup. We can do- I think we can do that, but we need to wake. So yeah, food will eventually go bad. Why am I not doing anything? Um, if you leave it in your inventory. There you go. Sit down and eat with your hands like an animal. Bruh. Because apparently just taking it from a wine skin and pouring it into a barrel makes it brew. That's how that... That's science. I don't know, man. Then we're gonna get non-stinky. Take a tinkle. And then wash our hands. Time. Makes me need a tinkle too. Let's talk to the thick thickman for his clothes. Since we smell nice now, we've had a drink, we've been able to relax. We can get the job done for sure. Oh, my clothes? Well, okay, you're the queen. That is right, and don't you. Forget it. Fat clothes to the cave. Wow, rude. Oh, you need to go home, sir. So we're going to take the path to the village. Whee! And go to the shop, because we need... We have foul soup things. So we're going to need a leech and wah, ink. Come on, my lady. Go on. Right. Okay, we're done now. Yay! We are so fast. Moustache. Wax. Gotti. On it. Stir that cauldron. I hope this pleases the crab bandit. Bam. Gotti. On it. We're so good at games. At simming. No, no, no. Put it in inventory. Gotti. What? 
Ugh, what if they don't eat meat? It's a crab. Do I have potatoes? Oh, goodness. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Look, I've had it. Damn it, man! You took my plate! Ah! Fine. I'm gonna go back to the village and get potatoes. <sighs> potatoes! Gotti. I definitely have a problem with randos getting in my bathtub, though. That's gross. This is the queen's boudoir. Invite only. Right. So, we gotta do a little self-care before we go talking to this crab again. Thank you, Marcellus the Servant. Well done. Get out of the way. Everyone needs to just go. The queen needs some private time. Go away. You can stay, servant. That's alright. It's nothing you haven't seen before. Most likely. Hurry up, my lady. We've got shit to do. Power through the exhaustion. Do your queenly duties. Oh, we'll be fine. We got this. Whoa. Good thing we're, like, romantically involved, sir. Can we just look at him? Can we join him? I don't think that tub's big enough. Here we go. Deliver fat clothes. You got this, my lady. Lady Beatrice neatly bundled up the fat clothes and left them in the cave. What the crab bandit would do with them, she would never know. Gotti. I hope they fit. At least they'll have to fit better than that dirty sash, right? Request complete. Deliver moustache wax. This time Lady Beatrice had difficulty finding the crab bandit's lair. She was turned around in the endless identical ta caverns. <laughs> Tavern. <laughs> Finally, however, she stumbled across a small altar cut into the rock complete with indentations that perfectly held the bottle of wax. How could the crab bandit have known? <gasps> Request complete. Last one. Deliver nom noms for the babies. Whee! Lady Beatrice thought about her choices in food preparation. What if they're pescatarians, she thought. Oh well. Mmm, those crabs shall eat like kings. Oh, we leveled up. Huzzah! That's it, all three requests. I should try to meet with the crab bandit one more time. Let's finalize this here alliance. Hell yeah. The request had been fulfilled. It was time for Lady Beatrice and the Crab Bandit to finalize the alliance between Irthos and the underground Crab Kingdom. Oh, sweet Jesus. Carefully approached the Crab Bandit. Um, hello? She said to the beast, I'm here about the, uh, the tokens, gratitude tokens, something like that. The Crab Bandit gave a slight nod toward Lady Beatrice. A slight smile tugged at the corners of his crabby mouth. One of the smaller crabs scuttled forward and handed Lady Beatrice a magnificent moustache, modeled after the crab bandit's own fanciful whiskers. The alliance was secured. Huzzah! This moustache signifies our alliance. I should put it on and bask in the glory of a safer, stronger Erthos. Stop talking to me, old man. I need a, I got a, a stash to put on. <gasps> Cute. Magnificent is right. Hey, looky there. The alliance between Irthos and the Saturnian Crab Kingdom was complete. Better yet, Lady Beatrice had come out of the deal exactly one moustache richer. 
This amazing badge of splendor could, could be worn at any time. Wooza! Oh. As the renown of Irithos grew, its political standing amongst the various foreign territories also rose. Before long, Irithos found itself in dire need of grand accommodations to house the ever-increasing flow of visiting foreign dignitaries. So with a flurry of activity and peasant groaning, the grand reception hall was finally unveiled. Oh my goodness. Whoops. Whoops. Hey, looky there! Expansion! Oh. The reception hall occupies the east wing of the castle and serves as a location for meeting with ambassadors and other foreign dignitaries. Great feasts may be held there as well as lively entertainment, courtesy of the court. Jester, well done, milady. So, our security has gone up. Oh, lovely. So lovely. And we have a reception hall to decorate. My favorite. <gasps> Thank you for watching, my loyal subjects. We'll be back with a furnished reception hall. So. Mm, so elegant.